Hey everyone, this is Amanda from DevotionInAction.com and I have this free printable here. I'm going to use that one on the left. The middle one is for if you have a standard two inch journaling column in your journaling Bible. And this one over here on the right is just um, like if you have an interleaved Bible and you want a bigger format that's a little bit bigger for you. I've already taken um, this printable and traced it in pencil and I'm going to line it out with a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. It's India ink. It will not react to water. If uh, you don't have one of these, you might want to do your water coloring first and then line out uh, the thing on the pencil there. Or you could, you know, I guess just go for it <laughs> and, uh, and go straight to pen if you don't uh, like to line in pencil first. I, I still um, find myself a little nervous most of the time uh, just going straight to pen instead of uh, doing it in pencil first just in case I make a mistake. And so I'm just lining this out in pen. And while I do, I want to tell you we're in Matthew 19, 26. And uh, this is uh, actually one of my favorite scriptures. It says, Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And this is actually recorded in Mark 10, 27 and Luke 18, 27. If you already have something journaled in Matthew 19, you might uh, go over to one of those other ones. So that's Mark 10, 27 and Luke 18, 27. And this goes along with a blog, blog post called Retrain Your Brain to Know It Is Possible. It's part of our First Things First series for January, getting this year started off right, getting um, some habits and some thought processes in place that will help us be successful the rest of the year. And so I, as I was thinking about what should be a part of this First Things First, it occurred to me that if you don't think that something's possible, you're, you're pretty much guaranteeing that you're going to fail at it. And I started thinking back over the years, how many resolutions have I failed at? How many goals have gone by the wayside? How many dreams haven't come true yet? Because I simply could not convince myself that it was possible. Maybe you have some resolutions, some goals, some dreams. Perhaps it's a revitalizing your marriage or creating a, a new business. Maybe it's losing weight so you'll have more energy or getting your house decluttered and organized. Maybe it's getting rid of a bad habit or starting a good one or getting consistent in your time with God. Whatever it is that you really want to accomplish this year, that one thing that you just really want to focus on, if you don't think that it's possible, you're probably going to fail <laughs> because at some point you're going to say, this is just impossible and give up. And that's what we do as humans. If we think something is just way too impossible, we give up. But the good news is that with God, all things are possible. There is no impossible with God. When it seems completely overwhelming and totally out of reach, we need to remind ourselves that nothing is impossible with God. In Mark 9, 23, Jesus said to him, If you can, if you can, he said like a question, he's like, if you can, everything is possible for the one who believes. However, there's a prerequisite. We have to believe. Certainly, we must believe in God for everything to be possible with him. You know, if, 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 if we don't have him, then we can't depend on the fact that, that all things are possible with God, right? But we also have to believe that it is possible. We have to buy in, totally buy in to, to that idea that all things are possible. And that it's, it's not just some people that all things are possible for. It's all of us. God loves all of us. Philippians 4.13 says, I am able to do all things through him who strengthens me. So we have to totally buy into that idea that it is, it's possible. With God, there's nothing impossible. And now I'm ready to color these in with my watercolors. I've got a set of Winsor Newton Cotman Travel Watercolor Set. Um, this is uh, one of my favorite go-to sets, and, and I love it. Some of these colors have, I've used them all up and had to, to refill them with um, some other watercolors. But it's just such a handy little set. The colors are perfect, and there's a little area for mixing uh, the colors too 
And I've got um, a brush here that is a number six, I think. It's, it's a smaller brush and it kind of points at the end instead of being um, kind of blunt on the end. It's kind of got a little bit of a point to an end. It's not a teeny tiny brush, I guess a smaller medium brush. Uh, I think it's a number six, but don't hold me to that. <laughs> I may be totally wrong. I think it's a number six. Um, so it's, it's a little bit smaller, smaller medium brush. And I looked at this principle and I thought, you know what? There are so many wonderful thoughts and emotions that God has created our brain to kind of generate that I wanted to give a lot of bright colors on this brain. So instead of doing it a gray like a brain actually probably would be, I'm... Um, I'm going for like a rainbow brain, <laughs> almost like, do you remember um, those like Afro clown wigs that were like rainbow colors? That's what this reminds me of for some reason. I don't know why. So uh, I'm going for Afro clown, uh, clown rainbow wig brain. There you go. That's a mouthful. You try saying that 10 times fast. Um, <laughs> So uh, back to the devotional, because that's a little random. Um, if we work on one thing at a time, it can make it easier um, to really buy into the belief that it's possible. Now, this is another pitfall that I fall into when it comes to resolutions. Sometimes I get really energetic and I think, okay, I'm going to get all of, I'm going to change all of these things about my life all at once. And because it's so many things at once, it's way too many habits to to retrain myself to do and I give up. But if I'm focusing on one thing, then I can really like tap into God's strength and say, you know what? I can make it one more day on this one thing. I can do it one more time on the, on the, with, with God today. I can do it one more day. And pretty soon those days pile up into weeks and those weeks pile up into months and the months pile up until it's a year. And I'm like, this really worked. <laughs> I am totally, this is a part of my routine. I'm, I do this automatically now. And, you know, honestly, if we would each tackle one thing in our lives a year, think about that. I, I, the years pass by so quickly nowadays, it feels like. It feels like they just get faster and faster and faster. And, and if we were tackling even just one thing a year, we would be completely transformed in five years, in 10 years, you know, like there's just one thing a year. And so if we'll focus on one thing at a time and really make that a habit, make it a part of our routine, um, then we can really lean into God's strength each day to make it that one day more. Now, all of this self-improvement talk and, and focusing on goals and dreams and resolutions, that's great. But we also have to keep in mind that we need to seek God's will above all self-improvement. Okay, Getting more energy, losing weight, being healthy, that's admirable. A clean and decluttered home that's a haven for those who need love and welcoming and a place to belong, that's awesome. A balanced budget is living responsibly and it enables us to give and to save in order to show love to others. The outcomes are awesome from self-improvement. But our good goals are not above God's desires. Our way cannot be more important than God's way. Even Jesus realized this. When he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Take this cup away from me. Like, I don't, I don't want to do this. It's going to be painful. It's going to be hard. Nevertheless, your will be done. So if we put God's will above what our will is. That's the best way to live. So as we focus on all of these things, it's awesome to achieve them. They are great goals. But let's remember to keep God's will above us. Because after all, Jesus was totally sinless. He was God's son. And avoiding death and suffering for him would have been a wonderful thing. We look at that and we say, I mean, if we didn't have the context of the whole Bible, we'd say, that's a good thing. That's a good goal for him to avoid suffering and death and betrayal and all of that kind of stuff. But God had a better plan because he loved us so very much. He had a higher plan that would save all of humanity who calls on him and seeks after him. So each day we need to work on retraining our brain 
to believe that all things are possible. Maybe we need to print it out and post it on our bathroom mirror, on our dresser, on our refrigerator, in our car, at work. Maybe we need to make it our wallpaper on our phone or uh, on the, on our desktop, on our computer. Maybe we need to put it everywhere that we can see that all things are possible with God. So that we retrain our brain and realize, hey, this is not impossible. It's not beyond reach because our God is bigger than all of those things that seem impossible to us. And then after I made my Afro rainbow uh, <laughs> brain there, I, uh, I thought, you know what? It should burst out with possibility upwards. So I did that yellow and then I thought, ooh, let's make some orange and some red and give it some texture. So you see how um, I'm doing it a little bit shorter each time with each different color. That's creating kind of a gradating gradient, a gradient out <laughs> from uh, the brain where it's uh, darker and more intense closer to the brain and then uh, bursting out into that bright yellow possibility there. And getting that all done, I'm going to hit this with a heat tool and really dry it and see how I like it dried out. See if it's exactly what I want. Um, we have two action steps today. Number one is to pray and ask God to reveal to us what that one thing is that we should focus on right now. What's the one thing that we're going to like put all of our all, all of the eggs in that basket? We're going to put all of our focus into, we're going to really lean into God's strength to accomplish. And then we're going to do at least a little bit towards it each day. Each day. If we do a little bit towards it and we're just moving forward in that direction every single day. And then number two of our action step is to remind and retrain. Uh, sometimes we read God's word, but then we walk away and it's like we forget. We forget what exactly it said. So there's uh, downloads of free principles in the free resource library for you. I will link to the blog post because it has the links for that. Print something out or download it to your phone and make it your background or whatever you need to do to help you be able to remember that all things are possible with God. Get it in front of your eyes. Listen to uh, sermons and uh, read devotionals that, that remind you that all things are possible with God. Let's put it everywhere and remember. We got to remember every day. Maybe you set an alarm in a Google Calendar that's going to remind you or on your on your iPhone, maybe in your calendar, you're, you're going to set an alarm that's going to say every day, it's going to say, hey, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you or all things are possible with God. And we have that little reminder every single day that helps us retrain our brain and really buy into the idea that there's nothing impossible for us if we will believe that God can do the impossible. Uh, so here it's kind of a drying out and I'm, I'm seeing uh, that I really like this, but I wanted to have just a little bit of something extra. <laughs> and so I'm pulling out my Kuretake Starry Color Set. It has golds and really shimmery kind of watercolors. Now I don't, I'm looking at this on screen and I don't know that you're going to be able to see the shimmer, how shimmery this is. The picture of it actually didn't come out um, as shimmery as it actually is in person. When you move this page, when you use these watercolors and you move the page, you actually see a lot of the gold shimmer uh, coming out and I don't know that it translates in the picture or in this video, but you're just going to have to believe me. Hey. You have to believe. That's right. <laughs> you have to buy in and believe because it really does. These are very fun watercolors because they give a really nice gold shimmer. So again, I'm going to come from that most inner part, and I want um, I want to put like a gold sheen, a uh, sparkle, onto pretty much all of that yellow. But I want the darkest points to be closest to the brain. So I'm kind of dragging that watercolor back toward the brain so that if there's any pooling, which I'm using it pretty dry, a little bit of water, not a ton of water, um, then I'm trying to pull it back toward the brain. So if you get pooling that's higher up on your lighter colors, you can just pull that back with your brush to where you want it to be. And then now I'm taking a different brush and getting some of this shimmery white 
silvery kind of color and adding that to the brain because I thought that would be fun uh, since brains are typically gray anyway. And really, um, you can't see this until the page turns the right way. So you just see the colors and then if the page turns the right way, you get this shimmer effect all on this brain and was super happy with the way it turned out. I don't know if it's going to translate or not, like I said. Uh, but it is pretty fun. So while I'm finishing this up, uh, let's pray together. Dear God, y please reveal to us today what you want to accomplish this year. What is one thing we can focus on that will make the most transformation in our lives? Give us wisdom to see how to achieve the goal you help us to set. What steps do we need to take each day? Help our unbelief. When we think it's impossible, remind us to believe that the impossible is possible with you, God. We thank you. We thank you that you love us and that you want to do these impossible things and make them come true in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm just going to add the date and a hashtag first things first that helps me remember when I look at these later, like what series, what devotional series this was a part of. And I hope that you will uh, grab the free printable or just do some journaling of your uh, journaling yourself. You don't have to have used my free printable or even have done art. You can just like do some uh, some journaling in a journal or on a Bible. But I hope you just snap a picture of it and post it in either the Facebook or Instagram or comment on YouTube or on the blog and let me know what you think about or what your uh, what your one thing is if you're willing to share it if it's not super private um, and we'd love to encourage you as you go after these goals and dreams today have a great day